All right, on this slide, we've got some problems that are a little bit more challenging. Um, so we're still doing dimensional analysis or conversions, um, but we're going to go ahead and start looking at some problems that are a little bit more in depth. So the first one, if a car is traveling 55 miles per hour here in Phoenix, what is the car's speed in London in meters per second? And the cities are completely irrelevant. Uh, the point is, in America, we do things by miles per hour, and in European countries, a lot of times they do by meters per second or kilometers per hour. There's a metric conversion there. So what I want to point out in this problem is that we have what's called a derived unit, or uh, sometimes I just refer to it as like a double unit. So this definitive quantity we're starting with is the 55 miles per hour. Now, miles per hour, there's two units going on there, right? There's miles and then it's per hour. So that's what we call a derived unit or a double unit sometimes is what I'll call it. And we want to convert that into meters per second. So I'm going to write that up here. We have meters per second. So when this happens, we need to actually have two roadmaps. We need to find a way to convert the top units from miles to meters, and then we need to find a way to convert the bottom units from hours to seconds. So the first thing we want to do is I want to set my problem up by writing down what the problem gives me, which is the 55 miles per hour. Now here's how you write it. When you have a double unit, this is how you need to write it. It's 55 miles, and then that's per, and you can just write hour on the bottom, or sometimes I prefer, um, I recommend students to actually write one, so they so students realize there's a one down there. So it's 55 miles for every one hour. That's how fast you're traveling. So that's how you write it out. Um, a lot of times students will write it out this way. They'll say 55 miles per hour and then they try to do their conversion factors and it gets, it gets obviously it gets sloppy because it's not set up right. So it confuses them. So make sure you know it has to be separated out like this. Okay, so now we need to set up our roadmap. So the first uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the top. I want to figure out do I know how many miles um, and meters there are in relation to each other? Um, and you may know that, but the problem actually gives us some information right here. It tells us we can use for every one mile, this is how many kilometers there are. So we could get from miles to kilometers using the conversion factor that the problem gives us, and then we can get from kilometers to meters, that's simply a metric conversion. So we can convert the top units in two steps. For the bottom, we ask ourselves, uh, what's the relation between hours and seconds? Do we know how many seconds there are in an hour? Some of you may. If you do, you can do that in one step. Most likely, you'll probably go from hours to minutes, and then you'll go from minutes to seconds. So all in all, this problem is going to take four conversions for us to uh, get to the final answer. So I'm going to set that up. Four conversion factors. There's one, two, three, and then our final one, four. And that should get us our final answer. So it doesn't matter which unit you convert first. If you want to do miles first, convert that to meters. Or if you want to convert hours to seconds first, it doesn't matter. Mathematically, it's all going to be the same. Let's go ahead and convert the miles to meters first. So ignoring the bottom part, ignore the fact that it has one hour down here because we don't care right now. I want to convert miles into meters. So first thing I have to do is go from miles to kilometers. So miles goes on the bottom, kilometers goes on top. If I set it up that way, that's going to make my miles cancel out. And then the next step is I'm going to go from kilometers to meters. And so by doing that, that's going to make my kilometers cancel, and then I will be in meters. Now, if I were to stop right here, the unit my final answer would be in is meters per hour. So we need to now convert the hours into seconds, and we know how to do that. It tells us on the side over, over here. First thing I want to do is I want to get from hours to minutes. Now notice I have to write hours on the top here because it's on the bottom over here and in order for them to cancel out I need to make sure that one's on the top and one's on the bottom. So that will make the hours cancel and now I'm in minutes and then the final step is to cancel out my minutes so I put that on the top here and seconds is going to go on the bottom. Okay so that'll make my minutes cancel and now I'm in seconds. So now we just have to backfill in. So this first conversion factor for every one mile there is one point 1.6093, didn't give myself much space there. Uh, for the next one, there are a thousand meters in one kilometer, because the kilometer is a bigger unit. And then over here, for every one hour, there are 60 minutes. And for every one minute, there are 60 seconds. So I just put in my numbers there. And now we go ahead and calculate. So I'm going to do 55 times 1.6093 times 1,000, 
and then divide that by 60 and then divide it by 60 again. So that's what I do. I just divide it by 60 and then divide by 60 again. Or you can divide by 3600 if you wanted to multiply these two together. Uh, but nevertheless, if we multiply all that out, uh, we end up getting our answer is approximately 24.587. Uh, I'm obviously rounding a little bit, but the, but the point is that's not going to be our final answer because we need to round with sig figs. The number we're given is 55. That's two sig figs. It's the lowest out of all those numbers. And so I'm going to actually round that to a whole number, 25 meters per second. And that's the answer for the first one.